Today we're going to be adding another Aussie animal pattern to the collection. In today's video, we will be crocheting a wombat. This is the third Aussie animal in my Aussie animal series so far. In the last video, which was the platypus, I think, I did ask you all for suggestions of Aussie animals that you would like to see, and I have taken note of all of those. I will be working my way through it. I've actually started on a couple. No spoilers yet, but if you do have an Aussie animal that you would like to see made into a pattern, please put that down in the comments, and I will just add it to the list. After you've done that, or if you already did it last time, we can get straight into making this pattern, so grab your hooks and let's get started. To make a wombat, you're going to need a 3.5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, a needle, pins, some stuffing, a pair of 12mm safety eyes, as well as 8 ply yarn in two shades of brown. We're going to start off our wombat using our lighter shade of brown, and we're going to put six single crochet in a magic circle for round one. Round two is six increases, and an increase is just two single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For my first increase, I'm going into stitch number one from round one, and I'll do one single crochet. Then I'll go straight back into the same stitch and do a second. And that's my increase. I'm going to repeat this five more times for six increases in total. Round three is one single crochet, one increase, repeated six times. Round four is two single crochet and an increase, repeated six times. Round five is three single crochet and an increase repeated six times. When round five is finished, we should have a total of 30 stitches in our round. And then round six is just going to be 30 single crochet. Round seven is nine single crochet and an increase repeated three times. When round seven's done, we should now have 33 stitches in our round and then rounds eight through to 11 are each going to be 33 single crochet. Round 12 is 10 single crochet and an increase repeated three times. Round 13 is 36 single crochet. For round 14, we're going to start off by doing nine single crochet. And nine, and then after that ninth single crochet, we're going to repeat two single crochet, one increase, six times. That's one, and then two, followed by an increase, and I'm just going to do this 
five more times. After that sixth increase, you should have nine stitches left in your round and we're going to single crochet into each of those. Round 15 is 42 single crochet. Round 16 is six single crochet and an increase repeated six times. After round 16, secure your end because we're going to insert the safety eyes. Before you actually add the safety eyes, just position the body or head slash body piece correctly. In round 14, where we did the repeats of two single crochet, one increase six times, they should be the top of the piece or the back of the wombat. So you wanna make sure that they're facing upwards first. So like so. Once that's correct, we're then going to insert the safety eyes between rounds seven and eight on either side of the head. So start at round one, count your way out. One, two, three seven and eight. And then just do a bit of double checking, make sure you've got the eyes in the correct position. That looks pretty good. And then once they are right, you can add the back. And then we'll continue on with the rest of the pattern. After round 16, we should now have a total of 48 stitches and rounds 17 all the way through to 26 are each going to be 48 single crochet. Round 27 is six single crochet and a decrease repeated six times. We'll start off with the first six single crochet. And six. And after that six single crochet, we're going to do our first invisible decrease. To crochet that, you're going to go under the front loops of the next two stitches, under the first front loop, then under the second front loop, you're going to yarn over and pull through both of those front loops and this will leave you with two loops on your hook. Yarn over again and pull through both of those loops. And that's our first invisible decrease. We're going to continue doing six single crochet, one decrease, five more times. Both rounds 28 and 29 are 42 single crochet. Round 30 is five single crochet and a decrease repeated six times. Both rounds 31 and 32 are 36 single crochet. When round 32 is done, we're going to secure our ends again because we're going to add the stuffing. When you've got most of the stuffing in, we're going to continue on with round 33, which is four single crochet and a decrease repeated six times. Round 34 is three single crochet and a decrease repeated six times. Mm -hmm. 
Round 35 is two single crochet and a decrease repeated six times. Round 36 is one single crochet, one decrease repeated six times. Before we crochet the final round, go ahead and add any remaining stuffing that you need to. When that's done, we'll crochet the final round, which is round 37, and that's just six decreases. When you're finished, just cut a short yarn tail and then pull up with your hook. For this next step, you will need your needle. We're going to thread the tail end that we just cut through the needle. And then with the needle, we're going to go under the front loops of the last six stitches. Start behind the front loop and push your needle under it and forward towards you and repeat this on all six stitches. And then pull firmly on your yarn end to close up the hole. We're going to work directly back into the center of the last round and then push our needle in through the body a few times to secure the end. Snip off the excess and then we're going to go on and crochet the next few pieces. Using the same light brown yarn, we're going to crochet the legs. The legs start off with six single crochet in a magic circle for round one. Round two is six increases. Round three is worked entirely in the back loop and the back loop is the part of the stitch that's furthest away from you. In the back loop, we're going to do five single crochet, one increase, and we're going to repeat this twice. Round four is 14 single crochet. Round five is six single crochet and an increase repeated twice. Round six is 16 single crochet. Round seven is seven single crochet and an increase repeated twice. Round eight is 18 single crochet. From this point in the leg, we're going to work in rows instead of rounds, and this is going to create the shoulder section. We're going to start off with row nine, which is just eight single crochet. One, two. And then eight. We're then going to turn our work and do eight single crochet back in the opposite direction. So we're working, or we're starting to work from the inside of the piece to the outside of the piece. So you wanna go into the last stitch that we just did from the wrong side of your work to the right side, single crochet, and then just continue along for eight single crochet. Two. And eight. 
And then for row 11, we're again going to turn our work and do eight single crochet. For the legs, you will need to leave a long yarn tail for sewing. So snip that. And after you've made the first one, you will then have to make three more because we, because we need four legs for this pattern. So I've got my four all ready to go. Once the legs are done, we will go on and crochet the ears. For the ears, you're going to need both your light and dark brown yarn. And you're going to start by crocheting the inner piece, which is made in the darker brown yarn. Both of these pieces use the exact same patterns. So all up, you're going to be making four pieces, two in dark brown, two in light brown. But the reason we're making the darker brown one first is because when we make the outer part of the ear or the lighter brown section, we're then going to single crochet the two pieces together. So I've made my dark brown one for the second ear. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm going to grab my lighter yarn. And then we're going to start off by putting six single crochet in a magic circle. And six, close that up. And from here we're going to work in rows, not rounds. So you'll want to chain one, turn your work, and then we're going to do one single crochet, one increase, repeated three times. If this is the inner piece you're making or the dark brown piece, you just wanna cut a short yarn tail and set that aside. But if like me, you're up to your second ear piece, you're not going to cut the yarn. Instead, what you'll do is grab the first piece that you made in your darker color. You're going to line that up with the piece that's on your hook. And then we're going to chain one, turn our work. So I'm turning the two pieces together and we're going to single crochet these two together. You're going to go into the first stitch of the inner ear or the darker brown piece first. Go into that stitch. If I can get my hook in there. There we go. And then we're going to go straight out of the first stitch of the piece that's already on our hook, the lighter brown piece. So go straight out of there. You're then going to yarn over and pull through both of those stitches. So you have two loops on your hook and then you'll just finish the single crochet by yarning over and pulling through again. And we're going to repeat this nine times. So for the nine stitches that we should have in each piece, again, we're going into the inner ear first or the darker brown ear, straight out of the outer ear, the lighter brown one. And we're going to single crochet, that's two. Then we do the same for three. And you just wanna continue all the way along the ear. And nine. Once you've single crocheted those two pieces together, we'll leave a tail for sewing. And if you would like, you can take care of all these other little end pieces we've got dangling here. You can weave those in to hide it. However, what I prefer to do is sew the ears on and then just hide them in the body of the wombat. I find that easier, but you can just weave them in if you want. Now that that's done, we've got one more piece to crochet and that's the nose. For the nose, we're going to use our darker brown yarn. And like with every other piece in this pattern, we're going to start off with six single crochet in a magic circle for round one. For round two, we're going to start with an increase. Let's just pop that in the first stitch. One back in the same stitch for two. And then we're going to do a half double crochet increase. To crochet a half double crochet, yarn over first, go into your stitch, yarn over and pull through. And this should leave you with three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over for a final time and pull through all three loops. To make that an increase, we're just going to pop another half double crochet in the same stitch, yarn over, go back into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through, have three loops on your hook, yarn over again and pull through all three loops. So that's the half double crochet increase done. We're then going to do two regular single crochet increases. So one there and then another single crochet increase in the next stitch. 
In the stitch after that, we're going to do a second half double crochet increase. Again, that's just two half double crochet in the same stitch. And then to finish off, we're just going to do a normal single crochet increase. Round three of the nose is going to be the final round and that's just 12 single crochet. And 12, once you're done, leave a tail for sewing and then we can go on to the assembly stage. The first step of assembly is going to be to put the nose on the front of the face here. We just cover up round one of the head slash body piece and we put the nose on there. If you would like to, you can add a tiny little bit of stuffing, but you don't really need much, if any, in this nose piece. So get that in there, make sure it's not too much. And when we place the nose, the half double crochet increases that we made should be at the top and the bottom of the piece because it makes the piece slightly more ovular than just round. So there at the top and the bottom, stick that on, pin it in place, and then we're going to begin sewing. When you're done, we're just going to weave the end in through the body to secure it. The next thing that we're going to do is shape the eyes and for that you need to cut yourself a length of the body colour yarn. So get that, snip that. You're then going to thread it through your needle. And then you're going to insert your needle somewhere into the head. It doesn't really matter where as long as it's away from the eyes. I prefer to go in through the bottom of the chin here. We're then going to push our needle up and then out of a stitch directly next to the inner eye here so you want to get we want to get as close to it as we possibly can you're going to pull through but you want to be careful not to pull this entire yarn tail out so we're going to pull until just a little bit is left hanging outside of the body here this needs to be long enough that we can tie a knot with it later on when that's done we're going to jump up one stitch from where we just emerged. So I pushed my needle out here. I'm going to jump one stitch up and insert my needle into that stitch. From here, I'm going to push my needle directly across the body and I want to emerge in the same position, but on the opposite side. So about this stitch here. So I'm pushing that across. I'm going to pull that through. And then I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to jump one stitch down in this case, but depending on where exactly you emerge on the second eye, you might want to jump one stitch up, but I'm going to go one stitch down and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to push my needle across the body, but this time I want to make sure that I emerge somewhere away from the first eye. So I'm going to go down towards the chin again and pull through. Now that we have the yarn pieces in position, we're going to pull firmly on both of these ends. And as I do that, you can see the eye will start to pull inwards a little bit. And I'm going to do the same on the original tail end. And you just want to keep gently tugging on these two tail ends until A, the eyes pull in an even amount, and B, they reach a depth that you're happy with. So you can keep pulling and pulling until the eyes go in as far as you'd like them to go. Once you've hit those two points, you're going to push your needle into the stitch that we last emerged from and then straight out of the original stitch. And you want to make sure you've gone out the exact same stitch. So push it through. I'm just going to do one last tug on these ends. Make sure my eyes stay in position. And then we're going to tie these two ends off. I'm just going to put in three or four knots. And four. I'm going to snip off the excess yarn. And then using my scissors, or you can use your needle or even your crochet hook, we're going to push this knot back into the body. 
And that is our eyes all done. The next piece that we're going to sew on are the ears. As I mentioned at the end of crocheting them, you can weave these additional ends in to hide them inside the ears. But what I'm going to do is sew the ears on and I'm just going to weave these ends directly into the body. So you want to position the ears behind the eyes. And I would recommend that you pin both of these at the same time, just so you can make sure they're looking symmetrical. And then once the ears are in position, we're going to sew those on using the longer tail end. The final things that we need to sew on are the legs, but before we do that, we need to add some stuffing. I've done so for three of my legs so far. And what you'll need to do is put your foot, the foot part of your leg down on a flat surface and then add the stuffing because we want to keep the bottom of the foot nice and flat and doing this helps with that. And you only want to add stuffing up to the start of the shoulder portion. You don't want to add any more than that. If you think you need some additional stuffing, what you can do is when you sew the legs on, sew them on for about three quarters of the way, stop, add the remaining stuffing, and then finish your sewing. When you've done that, we're going to attach all the legs. Like with the ears, I would recommend that you pin all these in place at the same time instead of doing them one at a time, just so you can get your wombat balanced. We're going to position the legs with the round portion underneath and the shoulder runs up the side of the body. So you can sort of see like that. And we're just going to pin those in place. We're going to put one, sort of just line it up just behind the ear. And then the next one will be the hind leg and we're going to position that towards the back of the wombat. And then you'll want to position the remaining two legs on the opposite side in roughly the same position so that they're symmetrical. Before you do any sewing, just sit your wombat down on a flat surface to see if it actually sits correctly. It's not all wobbly, which mine is a little bit. If that's the case for you as well, you may need to make some minor adjustments. And I think I need to bring this leg down a little bit. Once that's done, we will begin sewing on all the legs. Remember to add any additional stuffing if you think your legs will need that. And I'm just going to finish off this final leg by weaving the tail end in through the body. Snip off the excess and there we go. Little wombat complete. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this pattern. If you have any more Aussie animal suggestions, do put those down in the comments. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video.